Hey folks, my name is Ezekiel Cowan, and I'm here to introduce to you Iron and Blood Historical Roleplay 1400 to 1875. It's a tabletop role-playing game I created to facilitate historical role-playing games set anywhere in the real world during the Golden Age of Black Powder Weapons. This includes the Spanish Conquest of the Americas, the Pike and Shot Era, Samurai Japan, the Thirty Years' War, the American Revolution, the Napoleonic Wars, the Opium Wars, the American Civil War, the Wars of German Unification, including the Franco-Prussian War, the Fall of the Samurai, and any other time and place between 1400 and 1875. The essential design philosophy of Iron and Blood is to be as historically accurate as possible while still remaining fun and playable. You can check it out via the links below this video. Just remember that the game is currently in alpha. This means that some systems are missing, while others are incomplete and probably a little imbalanced. Also, the grammar and spelling are not up to my usual standards. However, it's totally playable. That's why I'm releasing the alpha now, because it's ready for your guys' feedback. There's a link to where you can provide that feedback below. Now, you should know that I'm not just interested in technical feedback, but anything you guys have to say about the game. Hell, if you guys created an awesome story, or a cool character or weapon, or just had a fun combat encounter playing the game, I want to hear about that. So what can you do specifically in Iron and Blood? The answer is everything. Here are the key features. All roles in Iron and Blood are based on an intuitive system called Make 50. It uses D100s or percentiles, which is basically just two ten-sided dice. Iron and Blood features three character creation systems. First is Quick, which is designed for quickly jumping into a session or replacing dead characters. Second is Dynamic, which is the primary method inspired by Traveler. It dynamically generates a whole history for your character, granting him his equipment and skills along the way. It's also possible to die in Dynamic character creation, so good luck with that! And the third system is called Regiment. It's inspired by the character creation from Only War. In Regiment creation, players or the Game Master design a regiment which determines most of the player's equipment and stats. Then, the players pick their specialization within the unit to individualize their character. Regiment character creation is built with military campaigns in mind. Combat in Iron and Blood is designed to be fast and intuitive, while still authentically recreating historical combat on the tabletop. The game also features a system for custom-designed firearms. I used all of the autism I could muster when making this system. So as it stands now, every historical firearm I tried recreating with it ended up being at least 90% historically accurate. But if you don't want to deal with that system, I've already built a bunch of historical firearms for the most common settings. So what's the final plan for this game? What's the vision here? Well, if I'm lucky enough to get that far, my dream is to make Iron and Blood into the premier tabletop role-playing system for any game set during its era. Once that's achieved, I want to publish it as a beautiful physical rulebook with a digital PDF counterpart. The best rulebook I've ever seen is the one for the Warhammer 40k Imperial Guard RPG Only War. I want ours to look just as good as this, or better. And before I go, I just want to tell you guys that this game is why the history of the gun video exists. Iron and Blood made me do so much research on historical weapons that I decided I might as well make a video about them. And that turned out to be a really good idea. So yeah, that's Iron and Blood, historical roleplay 1400 to 1875. Be sure to check it out via the link in the description, and don't forget to leave your feedback. I hope you enjoy.